Hi guys, how are, how are you guys doing today? This is me, Rita. I'm coming at you with a different angle. So if my eyes look like they're looking all over the place, I'm just trying to figure out where to look with this new, well, it's not new place, just my little area that's in my room. Um, if many of you don't know, I live in South Carolina, um, Conway. Um, and we had the hurricane, hurricane Florence to come through. And we're just, I mean, we're flooded. Um, thank God I'm not as bad. It's not as bad as they thought it was going to be. Well, we have a lot of flooding. My hometown is Nichols, South Carolina. Um, if you've been hearing about a little town called Nichols, um, it's like maybe 45 minutes away from Conway. And when Hurricane Matthew came through um, two years ago, the whole town was like underwater. Well, and um, like 90% of you know the people there lost you know well they did lo lose their home they had to rebuild and like I said I'm from there all my family is there well what's left of them the ones who returned well anyway after Matthew um, some of them went back and some of them didn't my mom and my baby sister went back um, after Matthew um, so yeah now they're in the same predicament where my sister's here well actually she had surgery and um, Charleston, MUSC, if anybody ever heard of Charleston, the Medical University of South Carolina is one of the greatest hospitals. But anyway, she had surgery um, on yesterday, so I took her up there. Um, her surgery was at, was at um, 1145, and so we got there early because I didn't know how bad the roads were, and they had so many clothes, so we just left early, and so we got there a couple of hours early, and um, so I had a chance to stop to Hobby Lobby. And... Um, well, to make a long story short, Nichols is underwater again. Um, I've been hearing that I don't know if they're going to rebuild the little town because, I mean, when I say little town, my little town didn't even have a stoplight. <laughs> it was so little. But like I said, I was born and raised there. Um, but it is home, right? So, yeah. So, you guys, just pray for my family. Um, pray for the little town of Nichols and pray for Conway because if you see, if you see on the news, it's... Well, Conway is like... <sighs> 30 minutes from Myrtle Beach. Um, yeah, the water, the levels are high. And I'm, I'm not sure if any of the, the rivers have crested yet. But anyway, enough about that. Just, Lord, just you guys, just pray for my family. Pray for Nichols. Pray for South Carolina and North Carolina, you guys. All right, so anyway, back to... Anyway, back to... Um, it's just so much in my mind, but... Um, yeah. Um, yeah, um... I went to Hobby Lobby while I was in Charleston, taking my sister there, and I stopped to. Huh, um, you guys gonna have to excuse me today because I'm just all over the place. First of all, I'm not in my craft room because, like I said, we have flooding, so um, it's water back there, and I really don't want to trek through the water getting to my craft room. Thank God that you know it's not flooded or anything, but it's a lot of water out there. So I'm not out there. I'm in my little crafty space, which you're gonna see in a second. So. And it's just stuff all over the place. I was bringing a lot of stuff in because I wanted to work on some stuff and, you know, have something to do. Just keep my mind occupied and just not worry so much about what's going on. All right. So I'm just going to show you a few things I picked up from Hobby Lobby in Charleston. And I have a few things that I um, picked up prior to. I just didn't make a video on it because it was just like one or two things. And I have like one or two things I picked that came through from... Um, AliExpress. All right, so I'm just going to turn you guys around so guys don't judge me the way how my desk looks because it is just crammed full of stuff. I didn't know what I want to work on. All right, so all right, so this is my junky desk. All right, so I'm just going to start with this small um, AliExpress haul. You guys, please excuse the shaking. I'm holding it with my hand because my um my thing I use for my phone is in my craft board. All right, so I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's a, a mini head with a bow. I thought that was super duper cute. So I got that. And I don't remember where I got these things from. Uh, we just got a lot of mail today because the mail was out all last week. And we got mail yesterday and today. And school is still out. I don't know when my son, I have a 15 year old. I don't know when he's going back to school. Because they're using the schools for shelters. And a lot of the teachers can't get to schools because they're flooded. And so they can't, you know, get to the school to teach. All right, well, this is another die. 
this is a book bag and book die and I thought this was super cute it has two book sacks I thought this was really cute so yeah I got that and I got these from um Aliexpress these are garment hooks they're just the colorful ones and I thought it was really really cute so I got that I got this from Hobby Lobby because I saw I can't remember I've been looking at so many YouTube videos um uh, before the power went out we lost power to you guys uh, it's just it was a mess still is a mess but anyway so I got this um, from you from uh, I'm talking I'm gonna say YouTube <laughs> y'all Yo, pray for my mind I got this from um, Hobby Lobby I use a coupon on it and I saw someone use this to make was it oh gosh Stephanie um, Garnet Gar Garret and I think she scrap lifted it from somebody. So I scrap lifted the idea from Stephanie. So thank you, Stephanie. Like she said, this is everything. And I'm going to use this as she did to make confetti. So yeah, I thought this was really cute. So I got that from Hobby Lobby. And you guys, I almost flipped. when I And I have a Misty. But for that price, yes, any day. $10? Yes. It is the... um the platform Tim Holtz stamp platform so yeah I got that even though I have a um a Misty I got this one I'm gonna keep this one in the house and take my Misty outside I don't know which one either way and I got this it was on clearance for 49 cents oh and this too was on clearance as you can see for not for $9.99 so yeah I got this for 49 cents it's just some cute um gift wrapping gift tissue paper so I got that I gotta try to keep everything organized because my little desk here behind my door is only so big. So, and I got these from Hobby Lobby. I just fell in love with these things. These are authentic life cards. I thought I had got the other one, but I end up getting two of the same thing. So I probably I'm going to take one back to get the other one. I didn't know I grabbed two of the same thing. Okay, so I got these um, sticky notes, and I got these for my faith planner. And you guys, I cannot wait to show you what I'm working on. It is just gonna, it's just so cute. Um, yeah, so I got this um, faith adhesive note stickies, 25 sheets each. So this says to do, remember, pray, and bless. Hashtag bless. All right, so I got that. Um, it's only three things I got from Hobby Lobby in Charleston. It's this one, this one, and it's one more thing. It's the big item, so I'm just keep that for last. And these other things I picked up before before the storm. I just didn't haul it because it was just like one or two things I would go use my coupon for. All right, so I got these Agenda 52 stickers. Only got it because of that girl, the LOL girl, which I think everybody is in love with. So, yeah. Just a quick flip through. Really cute. So yeah, got that. And I got these fitness stickers. As you see, I already used one out of here. And these are really cute. It's a fitness sticker book. And I use my 40% off. Sorry if I'm flipping it so fast, but like I said, I'm only one-handed, so. I'm filming this one-handed, not one-handed, really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and I got this too yesterday from the Hobby Lobby in Charleston, 99 cent. Just thought this was really cute, planner girl, really cute. And I got this sticker book, which everybody is is old now, but hey, I still love it. So yeah, got this, and I got more of these stickers. I just think these are the cutest thing. So I got two of these. I got three of these. Really cute. That little jacket is just so cute. Got three of those. Like I said, everybody saw these before, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on these. And I got oh I got four of those. And I got two of these. Alright, so my main reasoning 
for going to Hobby Lobby yes to Hobby Lobby yesterday before my sister's surgery was to get this. I don't know if you can see. Let me let me just move here. Sorry, you guys. I got this the the tote. I got the um the small handbag. Well, the small tote that goes with it, but this is the one with the wheels. Yeah. I really can't show it, but you guys have seen it before. So, yeah. That is my real, my biggest reason for going to Hobby Lobby yesterday was to get this. Because it was 50% off. So, $50 versus $100 any day, all day. So, yeah, you guys. That was my quick oh, Hobby Lobby haul. Alright, so... I guess I will find something to do with myself. <laughs> have to work tomorrow. Oh gosh, in the traffic. Oh gosh, because they have the main highways closed and we have this one way in to I work at Conway Hospital and we have one way into the hospital. Usually it takes me fifteen to twenty minutes to get to work. Well to get from going to work because I need to work at six o'clock is no problem. Cause it's not that bad I can I, you know I get to work within 30 35 minutes which usually I get to work like 15 or 20 so going is not bad the problem is getting off at three o'clock sometimes oh my goodness that usual 15 20 minute ride home mm -mm, long gone it takes me an hour and 15 minutes because we have one road that's open and if anybody knows anything about Myrtle Beach South Carolina you know, it is a tourist destination and 501, oh my gosh, we can't even use 501 now. We're using 501 business, which is a single lane road for all this traffic. And it's just, it is ridiculous. It takes me an hour and 30 minutes to, to come home. So before I leave work, I make sure I have me some water. I have a snack, uh, 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 two or three snacks, you know, something. Because by the time I get home, I'll, I'll be starving. <laughs> so, anyway, you guys, please continue to pray for North and South Carolina. And please pray for my little town of Nichols, guys. Um, like I said, we're un they're underwater again. So, there, my family's going to lose, a again, everything that just had got rebuilt not even two years ago. And one of my cousins just moved into her brand new house in April. And it's underwater again. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, you guys. Um, I'll talk to you later and have a good and blessed day. Bye-bye. Oh, and any subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I will, you know, read my comments, but it's just been so much here in South Carolina that I just, I don't know. I've been watching videos, but I haven't been commenting. Um, but I do, I do thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing to my channel. And I'm going to try to do more videos, but... Right now, it's just kind of hard for us, all right, here in the South. All right, so you guys continue to pray for us, and I'll do the same for you. Bye-bye.